Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Krista and if you are new, I'm so happy to have you. Today I'm going to be trying on part one of three of my huge Yandy Black Friday order. It finally came in the mail yesterday. I opened it up and kind of just looked through it, but I didn't actually open any of the bags. So we will open them together. Today is gonna to be swimwear and then tomorrow and the day after, we are gonna be doing the all the lingerie pieces that I bought. So let's see what I got. The first thing I noticed is it looks like maybe it's sourced from a few different companies. So um, Kini One is from Be Wicked, I guess. And then the other ones are from Mapale? Mapale? I don't know. So we've got three from this one and one from be wicked so let's start with this bag let's see what we got i feel like it took forever to get here so i wasn't even 100 percent sure what i even ordered i totally forgot so um it'll be kind of a surprise to me so first up we have a black bikini it has um Okay, so it has a little peak for the under boob here in the front and I noticed that the straps are adjustable and it does have some padding that's removable but the back has no, no closure or anything, it's just elastic but it looks really cute, it feels really soft um, and it is in size small and I'm assuming I'll have to look through again but I'm pretty sure everything else I ordered is also size small because that's my size. So. Um, there's the top, you kind of see it a little bit better here. So there's a peak under there, so we will see how that fits. And then the bottoms are, the bottoms are high-waisted and extremely cheeky, really close to being a thong type panty. And yeah, they're lined, they're really soft and the quality looks really good. They're nice and stretchy, so we will see how that fits. That's from one company. And the next ones are, from this other one, I don't know, the M-A-P-A-L-E with an accent on it. So Mapele, Ma maybe, we'll go with that. Okay, so the next one is also black. This one has some rivet details on it. So it's like that in the front, and then it's a deep V in the back. You can kind of see on the sticker here exactly what it's supposed to look like on. Um, there's no adjusting anything on this, it is, just how it is <laughs> um, and it doesn't have any padding or anything like that nothing is removable it's kind of like a bare bone swimsuit oh um, and then the bottoms the bottoms match they've got a skinnier strap here but they are fuller in the back and they also are high-waisted so it looks really cute it does look a little bit on the cheaper side compared to the first bikini but it doesn't really matter they're just for laying outside early. Um, next up is this royal blue one. And this is, this one and the last one were also in size small. So this one, this one's really cute. Let's start with the top. Okay, so the top is a Bondo type swimsuit and there's no padding. It is lined back here and this is adjustable so you can cinch it and then tie it in a bow if you want it a little bit tighter or loosen it and then you still have to tie it in a bow if you don't want these strings dangling. <laughs> um, I'm sure you could even turn it around, maybe make it a halter. I don't know if it's two-way or not, but here's the top. It is ribbed. It's a really, really nice color. Again, it's a little bit on the cheapy side. It's nothing, nothing fancy and um, there's no padding or anything like that. And so the bottoms are holy. The bottoms are like this. We will have to tie those up a little bit tighter. Um, obviously they have the adjustable ties, but again, fairly cheap, nothing too fancy. It does have the lining, but you can just tell that it's a cheaper quality swimsuit. So I'll have to go back and see what I paid for these. I know that I was pretty happy with the order price and then when I put it in, I realized that it was in US dollars and my credit card got charged more than what I was expecting to pay. So that's also something to maybe watch out for. Um, maybe something I should have watched out for, but I didn't. So 
Um, even after I saw it was in US dollars and it was, I think almost $400 total Canadian. I was just like, whatever. So I just left it. But um, yeah, they're really cute. Just not super high quality. But again, that may not matter as long as they look really cute on. And last one is this bright pink set. It is really strappy. I guess that was supposed to be stuck on. Oh my. Okay, so none of this is tied up, but these are the bottoms. This is a thong bikini, so it will tie up on the sides here, and then you can see on the back. And again, it's a little bit on the thinner side. It's not amazing quality, but the stitching and stuff looks good. Like, you know, it looks decent. You can just feel that it's not, it's not an expensive bathing suit. Um, but yeah, so it'll tie up like that, and then it does have a little bit of ruffling kind of on the front. You can see the material. So it's cute. I'm happy so far with the with the um, swimsuits. And then the top is obviously adjustable around the neck and then around the side, and then you can move the cups. But again, no padding, just something a little bit on the cheaper side. And the picture, I guess you can see here, it's just one of those tie bathing suits that ties on ties on the top and ties on the sides. So let's get those tried on and we will review Yandy's swimwear. Okay, so first up is the black one. This was the, what I consider to be a higher quality swimsuit. I'm loving the fit of this. Um, the only thing that was adjustable was the strap, so I did tighten them right up. Everything else fit perfectly. Um, it, it's tight around here, not too tight though. And I just really love this one. I didn't know how this under boob was gonna look where I don't really have any, but I think it looks pretty cute. And it's really nice and soft and really, really comfortable. So I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, if you watched my Fashion Nova try on haul, that didn't go so well. So, so far <laughs> I'm beaming now that this one is going much better. But let's see how the rest of them fit since this one was from one company and the rest are from the other. Okay, so next up was the next black one with the rivets. Um, oh, just in here. I'm actually really liking this one as well. The fit is really, really nice. Even though there was nothing adjustable, I would say it definitely fits true to size. And then the bottoms are cute and comfortable. And there's the low V in the back. And the rivets, I think, are just something different. I don't have a bathing suit like this at all yet, so I really like it. Okay, so here's the Bondo swimsuit. I did have to tie these up pretty tight, almost as tight as they can go. But they're still really comfortable. And the top fits really good. And again, I cinched this down as much as you can to kind of give it more of like a rounded shape. Again, there was nothing adjustable about the top and there was no padding, but um, if it's really, really good, it's not too tight, not too loose, so. I'm really happy with this one as well. Okay, and last but not least, we have the pink one. And I really like it. I just don't love how long these strings are. They're kind of a little bit annoying, but overall I think the bathing suit's really cute and I don't have anything in this color yet, so I'm loving it and I really like the adjustability so I can choose what fits me the best. And believe it or not, this is the only thong bikini I own. <laughs> so I love it. So 
that's it for the Yandy swimsuit part. So far, I am really excited about this order, especially where Fashion Nova was such a bust. Um, but stay tuned tomorrow and the day after for the next two parts, and those will both be lingerie. Um, in the meantime, you can go check out some of my other try-on hauls, like you can see my Fashion Nova one that wasn't any good. There's a few other ones on there of some really great stuff, and if you want to see everything that's in my closet, I also did a mini-series on that of every single color of everything I own, my entire lingerie closet. So thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and tell me which one was your favorite. Um, I would say that my favorite was... The first black one. I had a feeling it was going to be my favorite when I pulled them out and I wasn't disappointed. So um, let me know which one was your favorite. And as always, you can find me on Instagram at Krista underscore T and also on OnlyFans at Krista underscore T. And both of those will be linked down below. And I will see you tomorrow for part one of two lingerie for Mandy. <laughs> see you soon.